It's easy to say you want to become a firefighter, but can you really stand the heat? Local firefighters are on track to respond to 10,000 calls just this year alone. At the Terre Haute Fire Department, it's a job that runs constant. For the first time this year, the department and local union offered something called Fire Ops 101. It's a training course that pushes you to the limits, giving you just a taste of the job they do every single day. Now, News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn and photojournalist Garrett Brown take you on their journey. They show you what it takes to save a life. What does it take to save a life? Why we work 24-7, 365. Yeah, we're about uh, four or five minutes out. You never know when it's going to be your loved one that's going to be calling 911 and needing help. It's never ending. We're always on duty. What is it like to live on the other side of danger? Because that's something you don't do every day. Um, we do. How to be a firefighter. The answer you can only find here at Fire Ops 101, where we and community leaders trade in our lives for theirs. The goal is to uh, get people a little more informed and educated on what we do. Our training started with EMS and medical personnel. Shocks advised, everybody stand clear. Leah, come back in. Why do we send a fire truck to respond with an ambulance? Because we got eight fire stations, and we can get a fire truck there quicker than an ambulance. From saving someone trapped inside a smoky building. With the wall here. Withstanding the heat in a flash fire chamber. And unleashing the jaws of life in the worst of accidents. We experienced it all with local leaders, with each task a fresh perspective on public safety. I think that there's nobody that feels like a firefighter makes too much. I just think that uh, uh, the more education that the administration and me as a councilman gets out to show what they do each day will help the uh, public know where their finances are going to. I know police and fire are very expensive to do. That's just the cost of doing business. We've got a very complex city to serve with the railroads. And then you, you sit and watch this today and it's like it all just comes together. Good job, good job. So. What does it take to save a life? It takes effort, a community support, and a love for the job. There's adrenaline from running into a burning building or climbing a ladder, or you hear about an accident with entrapment, and we know running through our head what we got to do to get there. These men and women on the Terre Haute Fire Department, these men and women countrywide, nationwide, love what they do, and that's why they do it. And we know the risk, and we're willing to take those for the love of the job. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Garrett Brown, Aaliyah Blackburn, News 10. You know, the fire suit kind of fit her. Well, it did. Yeah. yeah, both of them. Good job, Darrell. Well, Fisher says they hope to offer Fire Ops 101 every year and eventually open it to the public. And Garrett had to even shave his mustache he and did. beard to get that mask to stay on. <laughs> For a look at all of the training courses our News 10 crew went through, visit our website, WTHITV.com, for video clips.